mattress guys are here they figured it out pretty quick and back down the driveway to the bottom of the cement which works for bigger trucks that's not too too far to haul it up the hill okay life is better I've had two sips of coffee now and I got my buddy the mattress is in the house those guys didn't have no trouble good morning it's Saturday I don't have no real news. I have to look Here. at these online newspapers. I'm so sorry. I mean, I honestly, I legitimately feel bad for you because you love reading the paper yeah. and you don't have a paper on Saturday I don't have anymore. Paper on Saturdays. Of course, talking about the quality of the paper is another thing. Yeah. Hey, buddy, how are you? He looked at me through the glass like, Mom, I'd really like to come and see you. So he's getting his 10 to 15 minutes of mama time. Mm. And you know JB's over here in the position yeah, also. Right. Yes. My favorite spot. Yeah. <laughs> it's Taekwondo testing time. Yep. Good luck, Johnny. I know you'll do good, bud. Thank you. So we're taking the van out for a minute because um, we want to get the battery charged up, moving it, you know, from the house to the street, to street to the house, and it being cold out, we're just um you know driving it for a minute and there's a bolt ev in front of us a white one in fuquay a bolt ev yep. you pay for gas <laughs> that was a plate way cool that's a cute plate it is i'm in the van now by myself uh the guys are back at the house doing their thing i'm just headed over to guardian angel to uh, drop off the donation that's in the back of the van you know, we tend to put things back there that need to be donated, and then when we get enough things to make it worthwhile, we drive them over, because um, we have the luxury of doing that, I guess. And uh, it's Charmander Community Day. I've already caught four shinies, two on my account, two on Dawn's. I swore we had Charmander Community Day before, and I, my account has lots of shiny Charmanders, so I really am thinking I'm accurate there. But Dawn's account didn't, so that's good. And I'll have to tech Johnny's and Ruby's account here in a minute before I go back to the house. But look at that sky today! And uh, it's just gorgeous out there. It's uh, pretty refreshing. I would say it feels refreshing today. That's what it feels like. Refreshing and oh, that sky. They're still only open for donations uh, four days a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. This is the back side of the building. This building used to be a grocery store. It used to be a Harris Teeter. That was a long time ago because they've been here over 10 years, maybe going on 15. Um, Harris Teeter is now in its third location in Fuquay in the old Kroger building. So they've moved early voting from the little hut over at Falcon Park to the old council gym um, here. And I, we heard yesterday that the wait to vote was about an hour. And I would say right now, I don't even see a line, but I'm gonna go around the corner because um, I might uh, not be able to see it from the stoplight. And I would say right now there's no wait to vote. So maybe what I'm going to do is turn around and come back and go in and vote because I've got the van and I can park wherever I want to park today. <laughs> and that would be a good thing. I've had my coffee. <laughs> I was the uh, 3,459th voter here in Fuquay. Um, it was an excellent voting experience. I did not wait for more than five seconds at any of the stations. 
there was not people trying to persuade me, counsel me or whatever, anywhere near the voting. There's no sign of police. North Carolina Board of Elections basically said the police are not allowed to stay near the poll unless there's, I guess, a specific incident. They felt that would be voter intimidation. Uh, everything's smooth here, polite people, um, no wait, uh, decent parking. So this wasn't the plan for the day, but if you go past the early voting spot and there's no line, you should hop in there and vote like right then. Sorry, Don's not here with me. I'll come back with him and hang um, if it works out that way. Usually we vote together. Um, they handed everybody a new pen and a wrapped package and said use this to fill it out and it says um i voted in the 2020 election early voting north carolina um and you were allowed to keep the pen and they said there weren't going to be early voting stickers but there were they're just on a table and you pick them up they're not like handing it to you or five zillion people touching it i, I think that's totally satisfactory so anyway i voted yay I'm back home. It's too bad I don't have the blower or I could blow the driveway on the way to the house. Boy, is it a beautiful day. Just gorgeous out here. Perfect fall day in North Carolina. Colors are changing. Dogwood tree. Japanese maple. We have um Oh, I was going to say the name of this other tree and it left me right when I was going to say it. We have this other tree that turns a brilliant red too, besides the sweet gum, um, which is sort of a purpley color. Anyway, it's nice out here. No complaints about going for a little walk today. My legs too. <laughs> the guys are finishing up the wiring project. Yep. They didn't quite get a chance to do that yesterday. So. Well, it got late and you had no light. Well, you had a couple of battery lights, but you didn't really yeah. have a light, so. Said, so. You need to really know which wire is which. <laughs> yeah, that would, sounds kind of important. Yeah. It's a nice day to be out here. Right now, it's pretty pretty sweet. I thought it was a little nippy, actually. Right now? Well, in the sun, it's not. But in the shade, the shade although I can feel the warmth coming off the, the roof. The roof. I thought I'd spend my time outside mowing the lawn and getting up some of the leaves. I'm done. Yeah, it's she's done. done. So. Well, not out at the street, but I'm done. She's <laughs> done a great job. It's it's a nice day, but that girl, she's been going nonstop. Well, if you got to be going, I got to be going. Yeah, well, we're That's a rule. we are done. The lights all work. Oh, She'll, I missed the she, inaugural. Yeah, yeah I flipped the switch on. Okay. And uh, we're we're just tidying up, doing cable ties to, to fasten the the wires to the steel structure. Okay. And then um, we're gonna go inside and start on the bed here in just a little bit. Okay, I'll try. All yeah. right, I need to see I need to see a demo of this fine work here. We'll come. We will hope it two, works. One. Oh wow, that's gonna be really bright. We'll come back out tonight. And we'll uh, do this uh, again, but that's, you know, we knew it was going to be plenty bright. And then, of course, we had some, we had the two big floodlights before, and they still come on also. We got to go to Home Depot and get some screws. Yeah, for the box. I got covers. I got covers. Oh, I, I see now. Yeah. Right, right, right. Oh, okay. Well, oh, darn, we got to go to Home yeah, Depot yeah, again. Yeah, well, on to the next Devastating. Project. Yeah, next project. Next project. Probably. I thought I heard the pedestrian alert of the Amazon uh, van while I was mowing the lawn. Look what I got. Yep, this is the other agenda for today. Yeah. Make the bed five inches longer. Remember, GB built the bed. I know there's a nice feature in today's video that we haven't had a chance to watch that talks about the bed and JB building it. Brought it up on your truck before you built the camper and in pieces, three or four pieces, you know, designed to be like that and then reassembled up here from a shop in Florida. So yep. there's the front yard. It does look better. Um, I did not do the other side of the bridge, but I did do all of this part. We've been doing the other side of the bridge sort of every other time.
you can see where they um, cut the 2 by 4 in half and um, slid, uh, you know, slid it apart there to accommodate the longer bed. And, the, you know, JB's going to mount the iron bed frame again. And uh, up at the front, it'll be a little short, but nobody's going to be able to see that. They're bringing the mattress now. <laughs> you want Marianne to buy you oh, bed? Marianne to buy a bed. <laughs> That's what he's about nothing about the, the best. Hey, I, I paid. I paid like hundred fifty dollars. I got the kitty cat and stuff. Yeah. And have kitty. Not you. Almost got the kitty cat water. She would have liked well, it. All right. So yeah. just get it in there first. Okay. Well, I'm gonna pick it. <laughs> <laughs> we have a. Uh, Happy, happy, per happy Johnny. Yeah, it's a nice mattress. All right, we got the mattress protector and the uh, sheet, the brand new sheet on, because it's, you know, a twin XL, so there's five extra inches. Johnny just said, that is a bright idea. <laughs> right, it's the same switch that used to turn on the two floodlights, Johnny. No, you don't really need to. Wow, Jamie. Let's see. Tomorrow morning's alarm clock, 5 a.m. Yeah, Flip the light. I got, I got Flip the light. I've got chicken thighs cooking in the cast iron skillets in the oven. Yes, skillets, two nine thighs. And this is a garlic cheese pasta ham bake. 